film starts in pieces and it uh, progresses as it comes together. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't focus so much on the storyline as it does focus on the sentiment of the characters and their circumstances and their reactions to their circumstances. It's sort of like it blends good and evil together uh, based on what position you're in. Oh wow, that's hot. Mm -hmm. Talk about, um, I wanted to ask you guys a question, in terms of like budget funding, how did you guys raise the money to, to, to create your own film like this? Uh, this would be a great answer yes, that, that, yeah. So uh, we financed uh, most of the film along with uh, using crowdsourcing uh, to our advantage. Uh, we have uh, a lot of uh, great people uh, you know, who contributed to the film um, and uh, anything else like in addition uh, to that we financed ourselves. Nice, so. nice, nice. nice. The, uh, the background story is that we all uh, started at a catering company together and so 95% of the cast, the crew is all coming from this one catering company that uh, we all volunteered our time and effort and really uh, did a big group effort. It's like a big group of friends that, uh, that made the film. Yeah. To make nice, nice, nice. So, so anybody could be a filmmaker. These guys work together, created their own film, raised their own funding. So if you think you have an idea, just like these guys, especially Vince Lombardi, that name right us. there is... We'll let you know how it's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, guys, I want you to give a shout out to anybody that you that helped you out with the film, anybody on the crew, anybody in your cast. Oh, I'd like to give a shout out to all my 500 people who helped me in one way or another to produce this film, uh, especially my producers, of course, uh, Josh Movie, John, Vince, um, my cast, my crew, nice. Uh, nice. my musicians. Uh, everyone just basically handed their talent and their uh, so resources and their, their abilities and their locations to us and they really believed in us. It's a catering company that hires professional musicians wow. and professional actors wow. and professional uh, film crew that do work in the industry but this is their side job. Right. Uh, so what we did is we used that area to like uh, collect all of our talent and resources together to create this one big project and you know push it along where currency doesn't stand in the way right 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 yeah. you know shout out, your film. shout out your film one more time so people can follow you either on facebook instagram twitter yes please a portrait asunder October 9th at the October Film Festival. You can uh, definitely check uh, out our Facebook page. We've got behind the scenes content coming out every day till the screening. Uh, check there for our latest trailer and some photos and everything. We've got a we've got a really nice Facebook page. So we've check that out. We've got a consistent stream of updates coming. So. Nice. nice. Thank you guys so much. Roger Maloney reporting live at the October Film Festival Red Cart Red Carpet Edition. We are a singing group, and if we were, I won't. I'm not going to be the Beyonce and the lead singer. I'm not leaving the group because we we. <laughs> We're, we're, we're all wearing black and we're all going to sing duet together. Thank you guys so much. Stay tuned. Hey, yes. Hey, yes. Brooklyn, what up? Brooklyn. It's time for a show. You know that represent Brownsville. So, the app is that show. Yo, tell everybody about the app. What is this show about? Ooh, Death Picture HBO's The Wire Meets New York City 2016. Ooh. Everybody go. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. 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 So we try, we know, uh, we trials and tribulations, each character is so dynamic, and I cannot wait for you to watch. Tell us your, first of all, congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You won for what, best documentary? Our Mother's Voices. Nice, tell everybody the story of what your film was about, because it was so powerful. It's about mothers, me with other mothers who lost their children to gun violence. Wow. Yes. And um, tell everybody about um, the feeling that you had when you found that you won at the October Film Festival 2016. Um, I, I was the first thing I said in my head was to my son, "Thank you for keeping me strong," and we did it. It's so amazing. Like I did it. This documentary broke me, made me who I am today. And without God and my son, I would be lost. And I did it. Tell everybody the name of uh, uh, your name, the name of your son, and the name of the documentary again. And how can people reach out to you if they want to see it, if they want to invite you out to come speak at their school, or, or yeah, give us all that information. Sure, sure. My name is Yvette Ramos, and I'm also on Facebook, Love Yvette, L-O-V-E, Yvette, Y-V-E-T-T-E. -E. 
Also, my Instagram is New Money Mom. N U M O N E Y Mom. And the documentary was Our Mother's Voices. Trust me, you will not regret looking at this. I have no problem coming out to speak. A mother's loss is the worst loss. Yo, congratulations once again. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. You almost so had me. Much. You almost had me crying in my suit, girl. This is. <laughs> Because I, I have two kids, so I, I kind of understand. And it's so poignant that your film came out now based upon all the gun violence going on yes. in, in the city. So first of all, God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, um, Daniel, please introduce yourself because I got a chance to see your film. Tell us the name of the film that was premiered here at the October Film Festival. My name is Daniel Ward, and I play Imani Ambrose in the film Before I Do. Nice. Tell me a little bit about how you got started in acting. It was something that I've always wanted to do. Even when I was a little girl, I would act out my favorite scenes from like Wonder Woman and Bewitched and all those shows. And it wasn't until I started attending uh, a church when I was about 21 years old that we would do little, just really small productions. And when I started doing that, it was giving me life. So I knew that was a path that I wanted to take. Next, when, um, when you started um, acting, talk about what was the ways that you started promoting yourself, getting yourself out there. Because you know, it's hard for young actors to get started or they don't even know where to get started or what to do. Actually, and I got a lot of information from actors that have been doing this for a very long time, but I accumulated enough footage from some of the films that I had done and um, had an acting reel professionally done, which has helped a lot because you can use that when you submit things. So I got enough uh, material for my resume, I got an acting coach, wow. and um, I promoted on my Facebook page and also my Instagram, Danielle.D. Ward Actress. Nice. So your uh, acting reel is really going to get you out there because you can email them to you know, the various people that you meet in submissions for films. Talk about, um, talk about some like, new projects you're working on, um, things that you have coming up personally. Um, um, or are you thinking about going into like on the, on the directing side or the writing side? I would love to hear more about that. Well, actually, I've been writing since I was about 15 years old. So I have like a big box of just random stories that I've written. So I was speaking to a few people while I've been at the film festival and I think I'm just going to go ahead and write my own story and just do a short and just see where that goes. Nice. But I would like to not necessarily direct but definitely write my own stories. Nice, nice. Um, give everybody your information. Tell them about the current film that you're in. I saw it last night. I was fine. I was like, oh snap. So tell everybody the name of the film that you submitted to at the October Film Festival. It's called Before or I do. And you can find us on Facebook and on Instagram and Twitter as well. But it's about uh, it's about a firefighter and my character uh, going through some things. I know, yes, there's a, a it's about friendship, about family and what you really want to do in life and, and what side is gonna win. Are you gonna allow your passion to win or just being complacent in life and just going through the motions of every day? You know? Important in life for you, Front Media Insights. Um, this is the last day for the October Film Festival. 
Tadank is going to be an awards night. Um, special guest speaker will be Leon, man. You know Leon from, uh, uh, he's been in movies like the Five Heart Beats, um, um, the Temptations movies. So this is Roger Morney. Tonight is a black and white affair. It's going to be good, man. I decided to put my suit on, man, so I could be fly, man. So definitely um, look out for some quick videos and do some quick interviews with some filmmakers and I'm definitely going to try to get an interview with Leon tonight just to talk to him about his thoughts about uh, independent filmmaking, where he thinks the industry is going and any advice he has for um, uh, filmmakers and what is he, you know, what's his thoughts about him being honored tonight? Roger Maloney, You Front Media Insights, live in 95th and Broadway, Symphony Hall. We're here live, baby. This is New York City. Peace out.